Thanks for joining me on this Tuesday gear review slash unboxing of my Friedman Vintage S. What's up, YouTubers? Oh, if you're wondering, what? That's right, I didn't just cut it off. I took it off. There's the Friedman Vintage S neck. I, uh, I'm about to show you uh, what I did. I was playing actually for the Alcondor passive video. And uh, you see this right here, this, this uh, armrest on this chair. Um, I had the same chair that Robert Baker's sitting on. Bought that at Office Max or Depot, Office Depot. And uh, it was a great chair. The armrest wasn't loose, but when I bought this one from Sam's Club, the armrests were so loose they would just drop without knowing and I was sitting here jamming playing El Contra Passa and bang oh man I wasn't even sure if I was gonna keep this guitar really I had the plastic still on the pick guard and uh, put a nice dent in the back of it so I thought well I'm pretty handy with tools and working on guitars I'll give it a shot so I uh, steamed out the dent I was able to do that and I should have walked away right there. <laughs> uh, I'm new to the uh, metallic blue finish, which has a white um, sanding coat, I think they call it, underneath the paint. I, I can do drop fills on acoustic guitars without a problem, in fact, using super glue and working with a wood grain underneath, but when it comes to a metallic paint, that has a certain amount of sparkle to it, uh, which there's like metal flakes in the paint. Uh, to be able to blend that, especially with a paintbrush, is uh, impossible. Uh, so I was so upset, I tried to fix it. Uh, like I said, I steamed out the dent and then I tried to sand the finish a little bit to smooth it and then I was gonna buff it out again. Well, it just kept getting worse. Uh, I was failing at every point and uh, as you can see in the video here I um, I ended up just destroying this guitar really I could have I could have walked away after I finished buffing it for the the last and final time I even went to my luthier here in town who uh, is bar none hands down the guy's got magic uh, his name is Dan Kelchek shout out he doesn't get on the internet his playing is just as good as his craftsmanship with working on guitars I met him through my acoustic guitar my Martin that uh, the head or the fretboard right by the the nut and the fretboard it was cracking and this was five years ago or so maybe six years ago and uh, freaked out didn't know what to do long story short met him and he fixed it and it's like it was never there. This guy can perform magic, I'm telling you. Uh, I could only dream of being half as good as he is working on guitars. But, uh, so back to the Friedman. Um, I was unsure if I was gonna keep it. It's, uh, it really, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful guitar, it sounds good. I, the pickups, uh, I only have a one tone knob and one volume on there. I was a little, Undecided with the bridge pickup seemed like it was a little dark for me, but uh, After playing it a little bit longer and the more I messed with it the more I really I started to fall in love with it uh, build quality I, uh, I Had the non relict one as you can tell and uh, hence the reason I wanted to fix it and not make it relict so um, Yeah <laughs> It's different, I, and I like that. I do, I like that. Uh, I wished uh, maybe there was a little bit more time put into the finishing aspect, like uh, 
this is an awesome idea taking uh, plexiglass and using it for the, the logo. Um, but when you run your heads around the edges, it's real sharp. And uh, so I, I'm going to have to uh, take some light sandpaper and uh, touch up the edges and try to polish that off. You can almost use this as a chopping knife. It's so sharp. <laughs> but uh, Avi Shabbat uh, is actually building me a guitar as we speak. Um, a beautiful uh, Telecaster style guitar with P90s. They're going to be the uh, Motor City Rubber Duckies, which they're really hard to get and rare. And he happened to have a set of them. And uh, I talked him into uh, putting them in my guitar for me. So he's designing and building this guitar. Uh, the only thing I did was pick out the colors and the pickups. So uh, all credit to Avi Shabbat and uh, Shabbat Guitars. It's been a joy working with them so far. I can't wait to get this guitar. Um, of course, I'll do an unboxing and we'll show you guys. But uh, if you're unfamiliar with Avi Shabbat, he did the first Friedman guitars, the prototypes. I believe it was the P15 and I don't, can't remember, P something. He, basically, the first run of Friedman guitars he did. Uh, this is a Grover Jackson model. And now Grover Jackson is in on it and working on it. And uh, so I uh, was calling around and I met some pretty interesting people and found out that there are people that would be willing to take on this guitar. Most, most guys wanted to refinish the whole thing because it was going to be hard to touch it up. But, um, and I knew it wasn't going to be cheap. I got a pretty good deal on this guitar to begin with. So I thought if I put the money into it, getting it back to where it was, basically I'll have paid pretty close to full price on this thing. So it's not the end of the world. But uh, regardless, uh, <laughs> the thought crossed my mind. I was like, wait a minute, Avi built the original Friedman guitars and he's building me a guitar right now. So what's to say I can't talk to him about maybe checking out this metallic blue finish if he can fix it and uh, what a chap he, uh, he he was willing to take it on so I shipped it off yesterday two days ago I'm sorry Monday I shipped it off Monday it's Wednesday so uh, he should be receiving it over in California in a couple more days and uh, I'll be interested to see he thinks he can touch it up and uh, blend it in so I trust Avi anyways uh, I've seen his work, and uh, not to mention he offered me and my buddy here on Shopfield Music, ah, Napoleon, name drop again, he offered us two tickets to NAMM, like he was just going to give them to us. Uh, I wished we could have went. It would have been so fun. I, uh, I will make NAMM uh, one of these times, uh, just don't know when. <laughs> so, But uh, yeah, so Avi's taking it on, and... Uh, I am excited to get it back. I really want the other part here. I'm so upset at myself. Uh, I have since tightened, took the whole armrest apart and tightened these things. So they're not gonna just fall on my guitars now. Um, I've already beat up my Les Paul quite a few times, but uh, that one's already got enough dings in it anyways. In fact, my son even did a nice one on it. But uh, he's already asked Dad, because he helped me unbox that one, when we got it in 14 or 15. And he says, uh, Dad, when you die, can I get this guitar? I was like, dude, really? <laughs> when I die? What's this all about? <laughs> uh, he's already thinking about his future. Good for him. So anyways. Thanks for joining me on this uh, Friedman Vintage S and uh, all these videos I'm going to show you here on what what I did. I just cut the strings, took them off, and uh, took the guitar apart. And uh, after Avi finishes this guitar, I can guarantee it's never going anywhere. Uh, I do like this guitar, so it is going to be a keeper. I did list it as soon as I tried to fix it and couldn't. Uh, I just, I do that. 
I uh, had it listed on Reverb, uh, Facebook, and Craigslist, I believe. And uh, <laughs> I think it was only up for a day or two, and then I took it down. I'm like, no, I can't. Got to keep it. Thanks for joining me on this Tuesday gear review slash unboxing of my Friedman Vintage S. More to come. Cheers! Hey, it's Napoleon here. Thanks for checking out Shop Field Music. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, here's a couple more for you. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment with what you think, and we'll get back with you. And as John always says, Belly, yo! Alright guys, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. No, 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 no. Good morning. What's up? Good morning. What's up? What's up, YouTubers? What's up, YouTubers? Oh.